Hello Mac Warriors, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Mac Warrior Rogue Tech Online 3062 Advanced. So, that being said, I think we're gonna wait for six days so that we get a new set of missions injected into our star system here. And I hope that it is a super heavy mission that we can play today. Also, I wanna upgrade my Argo so that I can take more mechs and more tonnage with me, but I need storage space. Is that storage space? It's super cheap, but it takes 30 days. Uh, okay. Okay, we're gonna build storage space then. Uh, and another thing that I wanna do is I wanna bring back my, I think it was a, an avatar that we had. And I just wanna make a build happen with it. Just anything. It uh, doesn't matter. Just something that we can just slap on the mag so that we can um, maybe just add it on the battlefield and uh, have a good time with it there. So, one day. Is it there already? No, it takes another day. Okay. So I try to really maximize the micromanagement here. I'll go to the mech bay, and since it's an Omni mech, it comes already with an engine, it comes with a gyro, it comes with an upgrade, it comes with endosteel and all of that, and it's really cheap and easy to build. That's my Anand, that's not the mech that I wanted to go for. That's the avatar. So, here we go. Let me quickly think about what I want to do. First of all, arm up. That is two days and 29,000. I I mean, it's a 70-ton mag. It should be a mid to backliner, so that we are not really putting it at any risks. And therefore, I'm thinking about risks here, yeah, because these guys are really, 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 really low on tonnage. So we can probably do something like that. But then we have a problem with cooling. Oh god, 98 heat? Ah, uh, that's a lot. Uh, radical double heat sink. How many, how many clan heat sinks do we have? Where are they? We only have two clan heat sinks, so that's not gonna be enough. What we need is, I think it's gonna be the radical heat sink kit. Uh oh, I have the feeling this is not gonna work. Yeah, look at that. In order to make that make cold, and we are somewhat cold. We are not even cold cold, we are somewhat cold. And even if we wanted to shoot, um, I mean, that's the thing we can do. Um, even if we wanted to shoot uh, short range missiles, which build even more heat, that's not gonna be enough. So no risks, MML. Sadly, I like them a lot. What about, what you know what, what, what about a ruck? We can probably put two rucks on this thing. You know what, just good old two double ruck five here. Put them here on the arms, put some lower arms on it. Oh, oh wait, can we do that here? We might not be able to. Uh, lower, yeah, the rucks arms are not allowed. So big ballistics on, a, on an arm on an Omni mech uh, is, um, you know, prohibited. You cannot put a lower arm actuator on an arm that has a big weapon in there. Uh, okay, so it's gonna be upper recoil then. Plus one accuracy with arm-mounted weapon. Would be cool if we had another one on the other side. But you know what? Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. We have something like heavy MRMs. So that's gonna go on the other arm. And there... Oh wait. I think there we can put the lower arm actuator on. We are getting there, guys. This is gonna be a build. It's maybe just a heavy MRM and the Rack 5. Easy as that. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Just that. Honestly, that seems good to me. Um, let me see. We need ammo. Let's go. This is a regular Rack. I'm gonna take that because it has a longer range, I believe. It's 600 meters compared to the heavy Rack, correct? That's even heavier. I mean, we do have tonnage. Make it a heavy rock. All right. Rock two, rock two, rock two, rock two, rock two, rock five caseless, rock five double, rock ten, rock twenty. I see. We cannot take it because we don't have the ammo for it. I wish I had, but we can't, so we won't. Fine. So one rock five double bin, six shots. That's enough. And we're gonna take that. I mean, it's very weight efficient at the very least. So that's nice. We have a heavy MRM as well, so we're gonna add some ammo for that. Oh yeah, it's gonna be Inferno, it's gonna be Acid, perfect, and another bin of Inferno, and then Swarm. How many shots do we have here per? Problem is that heavy MRMs have a very low count on, on missiles in per ammo bin. That's the drawback. It's 120 shots per. So we got nine Alpha Strikes with it. Take the Swarm ammo as well. Okay, so there we go. Oh, we are overcooling. We are overcooling big time here. 
Uh, let's take a look at the most important things. First of all, this is gonna be a predator fire control system. This is gonna be also a tracker sensor since we are shooting at long and mid range, extreme and long range, long longish ranges. Or is that power sensor? Giving us three additional target information. Might be. Could also be tracker. I mean, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do it like that because I have an idea. Uh, we need an ECM, and I think I'll take. Yeah, I'm gonna take a Guardian ECM here, and I'm gonna take the Bloodhound probe, which also gives us the passive center check bonus. I like that a lot. Again, let's not overcomplicate the build. Let's just make it work, okay? The Bloodhound over here. Perfect. So we got two more taunts that we can do, uh, do, put into the mech. And I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking that we are going to put some medium lasers in there. Diverse optics. Bam. 30 additional range. These guys are good. These guys soak up the additional heat that we have here. We are at 78 out of 78, guys. Could it get any better? Yes, it can, because we have no armor upgrade yet. Light Pharaoh. That's another ton. Oh, what are we doing with it? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh also, we don't have special equipment. Uh, there's a jammer. We have a laser AMS already. Huh. Is it another laser AMS? It might be. It... Wait a second. No, it's not a laser AMS. It's something else. Uh, but I also want to check if I had some... Going over here. Oh, crap. Oh, let me take a look at that bad boy here. Wait a second. That is a support thing that shoots into melee, which is not really a thing that we need. Uh, negative one accuracy. Medium range missile launchers. These just deal damage. And they have five salvos. Or seven tons. Seven tons? Is that good enough? I mean, it's like a rocket pack. It's okay, I would say. It's just an okay item. How do we add it to the mech? I'd say we don't. Yeah, I'd really say we don't. Uh, no, I'm thinking about adding a... Where is it? Chaff countermeasure. You know, something that helps out. It's nine additional heat, though. Yikes. It's only a one-shot anyway, right? No, it's a three-shot. This chef might be helpful, though. I'm gonna take that. And now I'm gonna add another heat management sink thing. Where is it? One more double heat sink. A slightly over tonnage. But that's a mech that we can just slap onto the battlefield. Yeah, that's fine. It's not great, but it doesn't have to be. This one laser is bad. Is it even worth the 25? It's like 50 damage total. It kind of messes with our heat management, though. I'll drop him. I saw a tag earlier. I'll take the, I'll take the tag here. Bam. And... I'll put another laser AMS into the mech. Let's put it into the center here. So this mech is kind of... Kind of protected against missiles. The Alpha Strike is okay. Do we take another one? Take another one. We have it. 78, 70. Ah, uh, no. Okay, so never mind. I'll, I'll take it back. So we bring back the double heat sink over here. So we can actually overcharge our rock. So currently it's kind of calculated to heat with uh, three shots. It generates six heat with three shots. So it's like 12 heat with six shots? Or is it six heat per shot? I don't know. In that case, we could technically go for it. We also have a heat generation uh, skill on our people. Yeah, I want to see how this works. Let's add another laser AMS here. Okay. Okay, that works good. That That is a thing that I like. So, we've got three days to build. We have 300,000. Man, Omnimax are so cool. They are so easy to build. This is really nice. And we have another mag that we can then slap on the battlefield whenever we like and whenever we feel like it. And uh, as soon as we have the tonnage upgrade, I think. So, financial report is safe, seemingly. 
Okay, work orders complete. One day for the next report. There we go. I'm excited. Can we find a super heavy? Yes or no? We have a solid 111,000 C builds left. We have another mech. Another build. It might work. Maybe not. We will see. And I... It's a support mech. I mean... I want to see smooth stones or anything like that. I don't see it, but what is Black Sight? I have no idea what Black Sight is. There's a battle in the Badlands. End base and a battle in the Lowlands. Alright, I, um... Ooh. Smash and grab, recovery, highlands. Let's go for the recovery first. Oh, we are playing against the Steiners and we are really getting low rep on them. And I want to check out my new mech. I want to check out the new build. Let's see if we can actually add it to the, the, the drop here. I don't think so. No, we need to... Ah, uh, we need 50 more tons. But that's fine. Oh, by the way, Mayhem is back. We should probably put him on the field as well. Um, which one is the least impactful mech that we have right now? Might be that mech. Might be the King Crab. Honestly, I think I'd play the Avatar here just to test it out. I want to see what it can do. So it has the ability to overheat enemies, but it also has the ability uh, to deal a quite good chunk of damage because we have acid-heavy MRMs, and then we have the Ruck that is shooting afterwards. Also a tag. Wait, do we have the tag? Or did we put it? Uh, put the laser AMS in there? Doesn't matter. We have the big weapons, and that is what matters here. Let's take a look at that. It is also not the fastest mech in the world, but it has enough mobility to maneuver around. And since it also runs a Bloodhound probe, it has amazing sensor checks and a good sight range, which is uh, imperative for actually, you know, establishing line of sight to see where the enemies are and, and then shooting them at mid-range, mid to long range. No, it's actually a mid-ranger. It's not a long ranger. We have a bunch of them now. And I think especially when we are thinking about, uh, like, structured environment, urban environment, um environment with a like a hilly uh, landscape then mid-range is good enough we don't necessarily need all the long range in the world here we are so one target location is the ashless ashless is just gonna jump in aye, aye. and we got contact perfect so is our anand yeah wait 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 where are we going i don't know Awaiting Seems like orders. we are we are blocked somehow. Oh yeah, by the stone rhino. Skipper. No wait! Oh, is that a dead spawn? Can we not get down here? It's so much for my test. Oh no. Confirmed. Oh no. We need a jump jets. Roger that. Okay. Roger. Where the hell are we? Okay, we can use our avatar at the very least. But this is gonna be an awkward, a very awkward fight. Alright, let's see. Let them come close. No, no I want them on my sensors. And then we're gonna shoot at long range. Alright. Lucky for us, this is a very easy mission because we only have, I think, one lance here. Oh, there's another Proteus Omni! <gasps> we need two more parts to build that thing. Alright. Stealth Bomber, Cascatel, Arrow Vehicle. This arrow is gonna wreck us. Standing by. <laughs> oh crap. Oh crap. Split up, Here guys. Uh, yeah, this... Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Affirmative. So I'll add some Hydra. Good. Ready for orders. Here's the new mech. But it cannot do anything because these guys still need to come out of their spawn protection. There's no way around it. Oh, that was the arrow being intercepted. That's so good. Right, let's wait for it. We don't have to destroy much here. That's the good news. The bad news is that this arrow is gonna give us a lot of problems. And then there's also kind of a thunderbolt. No, wait, that was one of the Cascatel. That's double one-shot arrows. I mean, this is pretty clear what we are doing here. Overheat him. 
That's such a good build here. I like it. It's double rock 2, double rock 5. A bit of MML and ER medium lasers. So good. Uh, yeah, you just do nothing. Just stay there. Alright. That was a bit too much. He is exploded. Uh, orders? I think I can get further with the supercharger. Oh, and we can. So bringing our warfare suite to the front line, cancelling the enemies. Okay, that's cool. Uh, cancelling the enemies uh, ECM is a good idea here. I shoot the bombers. Why? Because we have a very bad headshot hit chance and I don't want to mess that king crab up. I want to get as many parts as possible from that dude. So, Conquistador. Now yeah, we gotta move down here. There's no way around it. How can I help? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Punisher. Let me see. That's a good chance to hit. That is also a pretty good chance to hit. We could try to get the carrier down now. And I will. It's a lot of damage that we have to deal. Okay. So, two evasion. Plus a bit of a clump. You. And... Sure. Let's go in. 22% chance. Mm -hmm. It's the only really chance... It's the only real chance that we have here. Swarm results, no incendiaries, no acid. Yeah, I guess. Let's shoot twice with that. Cool, we hit him once. That's good. Target acquired. Good to go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me. Let me shoot first. Oh, we. Ah, oh, we can only shoot it with um with our incendiary LRMs here. What's the hit chance there? It is quite okay-ish. It's not great, but let's see if we can sensor lock these dudes and do something about it. It's mildly out of range. Let's check it out. So sensor lock now. Bam. I've got a sensor lock. And then we're gonna try to shoot him. And that's good. Alright, so we're gonna go all in on that. Absolutely. Like six times with 33%. That's definitely good enough. That's what I'm talking about. Great. Alright, turn 22. Our MRMs, completely useless here. Oh, actually, maybe they're not completely useless. Screw it, let's go. And that's the knockdown. How many how many hits do we need on the head? Uh four more? Talk to me. There's just no chance that we get that. That's the thing. Uh because of this very, very bad spawn here. I have the feeling that we are not getting anything done. So this is killable. Rather than the artillery tank, and I have the feeling that the Take tank that can be busted with our Atlas on the front line. All right, that's fine. He did miss everything. Yes, Commander. Okay. So this is Artemis. This is all Artemis, but we are not really able to hit anything. Let's shoot the assault vehicle. It's not really necessary, but maybe we are missing with our melee attack. So there's a chance. Oh man, I'm excited. I want that Omni King Crab, the, the Omni Proteus. This is so good, guys. Good. Yes, come All right, dead eye. Maybe we are standing and shooting. Seems doable. Fire. Attacking. And the Cascatel is down. Alright. Enemy vehicle destroyed. 
I want to get to turn 16 quite badly here. I want to get that uh, arrow down, the arrow carrier down with our Ashless, and then the Ashless is going to push into the target zone. And then we have to only deal with the uh, last Cascatel and have to kind of find a way to destroy the Proteus without destroying it, really. Getting some engine criticals or so. Oh, damn, it's two parts that we need, and I think I completely destroyed it. Ow, 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 stop it, that's a lot. Losing armor. Holy crap. Standing by. That was so much. Not cool. So, oh, our heavy MRM has an, oh, it has a jam chance. Interesting. I didn't know. Rock it up. Okay. Confirmed. Funny thing is that we might be able to get some criticals with the mortar here. Oh, it's still dealing seven damage per. Hmm. No, not good. Not good at all. Try the Hydras, which deal like no damage. Engine destroyed. Perfect. I think we got him. I think we got like three parts now. This is amazing, guys. Okay, so Strider, please go Vigilant. That has to be done. And uh, afterwards, we'll turn that off, because we don't need it. We'll, we'll need it next round, so that we can then sprint into the evac zone. Target in for physical attack. Cool. Tank down. This is so cool when the tank parts are just flying around. Nice. And we also have this guy in our warfare suite. Yeah. Receiving you. So what about that? The chance is not the best, honestly. Swap these. Shoot all. Let's go. By the way, getting tagged to the front doesn't help you. Because uh, when you click that fire button, your hit chance is already determined. There, the tag doesn't help you getting a higher hit chance afterwards. Okay. Let's turn that on. The enhanced imaging. Locking in coordinates. Ugh, that's such a bad hit chance. Yeah, I'll try to get it done anyway, because he is already pretty damaged. Yay, we did it! Pretty good first mission, and we will definitely do another one right afterwards. Yeah, Commander. And as I was saying, I'm gonna turn that on again. Oh, so close. On the move. So close. Alright. Punisher, done. I best to let her Dead eye, down. done. Easer, well done. And... Oh, it is well. Receiving you. Okay. So, brace, 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 brace. And then we can actually go home with some very good salvage. That's gonna be insane. I hope that I can actually put these mechs together. Uh, because we have a Proteus that is uh, of another type. And then we have this one here. And I think I... Do I have two or three parts? I think it's three parts. Pretty sure that we have three parts. We are making negative money. Well, let's check it out. I'll take two of them. Or do I take three? Dudes, I cannot remember. I think I have three, though. Light Missile Rack, no. Rack 5, no. Ender Composite, no. I am I think I'm going to take another XL engine. Bit of money here. Because I want to build that thing. No, wait. It's a, it's a, it's an Omni-Mech. I don't care. I don't care about engine. And, and build costs and so on. So there's nothing really I want. Just to make sure I'll take the other King Crab part. Just to make sure. Because I really don't know if it's two or three parts that I have already. Alright guys, Proteus. This is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be super interesting. Let's check it out. That means that we might... Wait a second. Um, let me think. Um, we are at 600 and... 50? No, 620 tons cur currently. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. But I was thinking about, can we add that mech to the lands already or not? And yeah, we are kind of in debt right now. <laughs> Oopsie. Let me quickly go to the store and 
fix that. Let's do it. Let's sell a million ER medium lasers. Bam. Okay. That's okay. Nothing else. So, and then we go over here to see what we can do. Yeah, and we can build them. It's the... Oh, we have different Proteuses here. Damn, which one do we take? So, the one that we had here... I don't know. I seriously don't know. It doesn't show which build it was running uh, initially. Um, I think I'll take the OD. Which we just saw, right? It was the rock one. Again, it does not really matter. Alright. There we go. We got a new mech. And I'm hoping it's in good, uh, in good condition. It's another Kingcraft. <laughs> this, this is so, so amazing. Uh, it comes with a light engine. All right, that is not that great. I gotta say, I'm, I'd rather have it. Uh, I'd rather have it to have a, um, an XL engine. But Proto Heatsink Kit is there. Prototype Endo Composite is also there. Ooh, that's good. That's actually pretty good. Uh, it doesn't come with any shoulder upgrades. I was hoping for a recoil reduction here. Command console is nice. And it's intimidating. Oh boy. Yeah, guys, I'd say we have a new mech to build. This thing here could easily be similar to our uh, Stone Rhino. Easily. Since it, the, the core is fixed. That's the thing. It is a very slow mech per default. We cannot make it fast. Unless we make it jumpy or so. Um, th that's the limiting factor that we have. But we have so many options. I need to build that. Yeah, I need to build it directly. This is gonna be so good. The Rack 2, the Rack 5s. We can make that uh, like an all ballistic mech and then make a jump. But let's see about that. I wanna armor up. That's important to me. It takes ugh, away a lot of money. But that's gonna be it. Hell yeah! That's a new mech, guys. Yeah, I know, Darius, we aren't dead. However, we're gonna fix that. We have 500,000 negative. How do we get that back? Let me take a look. So, I'm looking at a very good equipment items here. Ah, man, that, that sword. That sword burns a, burns a hole in my pocket all the time. We'll... Keep that, actually. Sell some of these heavy MRMs, I think. We'll drop the 10. That's not that great. This heavy PPC can go. Yep. These heavy lasers. Large, heavy clan laser. 80 damage. That's a pretty good range here. But they have negative accuracy. So I'll sell it. You know what? I'll sell it. I'm not a big fan of all of these big lasers. These MMLs are gonna stay. MRM tans can go, sure. We need 230,000, now it's 200,000, roundabout. MRM 30. Pretty good. Silver bullet, we have tested that and I came to the conclusion that I don't want it. EMP is good. At some point, maybe. Battle computers will... Uh, actually, there's two energy. We're gonna sell one. We don't need all of them. And we are already safe. Okay, never mind, that was that. That was good. Basic cockpits. You know what? Let's cash them in. Let's do that. You know, it's good here. Alright, guys. I'm super excited. I want to kind of play that Proteus Omni Mac at some point. But that point is not going to be now. Ashless actually got hit hard. Seven days of repairs here. Crazy. But as I was saying, we're going to... Do extra hands. I like that. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get four tag points. Um, let's go ahead and uh, play the second mission because we are not done yet. So, there we go. Also, I should probably take a look at the barracks because I have the feeling that Strider is able to get a lot more... a lot more skill points. And she does, so that's piloting 10. This is where I wanted her in the first place. Now we can think about tactics for giving her a higher initiative. Oh yeah, the, the higher evasion is super good and of course the ability to keep on the hot seat cockpit and the supercharger for a little longer. That is value. That is so valuable. 
Sensor distance? Yeah, let's go. Tactics 10. On Geezer. Uh, Yuki Ona, I don't care. No, Rain, no. Punisher, no. Poet. Poet getting... Yep. That unsteady threshold is super good. Let me quickly check that. Dead Eye. No, no, no. Yeah, I think we are done for the Alpha Squad. Let's get to the command center and play the second mission of the day. Let's go. I'm I'm thinking about drop interception. Cavalry in urban. Hmm. Da -da -da -da. This is Badlands. I like Badlands. Let's play it. Also, it's for the Steiner dudes. And we can actually try our mech again. Our avatar. Once more, just to see if the combination of a heavy MRM and a rotary autocannon 5 with a lot of laser AMSs is good here. I mean, these laser AMSs are gonna heat us up in the Badlands quite a lot, but hey, we we have them. They keep us safe, ish. Oh man, we are really getting a lot of good strong mechs. I think what we are missing is still very good equipment. We have decent equipment, but we are not really getting all the good clan stuff that I wanted. They are clan mortars, they are clan LRMs, that I need more of them. And I'd actually kind of be happy if I'd get some more pirate LRM 30s. Because I like them. I like the damage variation on them. And I like the I like the just sheer amount of missiles that they are throwing out. Especially when you're dropping Hydra, where you don't need the hit chance. It's fine. It's really good. But I gotta say that the, the clan LRMs are, I think, a little bit higher in maximum range. So there's, you know, benefits and... What's Command the other one? Drawbacks? So, here we go! I see our enemies already. It's another Atlas. Okay. And the laser AMS is already firing. Yeah, you know what? It's a hot drop. We're gonna benefit from... Whoa. Our spawn protection. Dude, seriously. Don't do that to me. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a, it's a rock five. It's just that. Okay, reserving. There's more. They have one lance as well as one support lance. And there might be reinforcements later that we don't see yet. No, wait, the reinforcements would come from our area here, I think. Oh, yeah. That's alright. I think this is the moment where we are actually... Good to go. Where we are actually doing things. I will wait, though, because I want to check something out. One more round. I'll take turn 16, which is, which is where we start now. Target acquired. Yeah, our avatar has to go somewhere else, but... This is where Geezer comes into play. And oh, we should have actually shot indirectly because we had a high hit chance, which is kind of weird. Uh, we're gonna drop Acid and... Acid and Hydra? Acid and EMP? Acid, that's what I want. So, we got... Magpals, we got sensors impaired, we got some heat on this guy. And we also have something else, which is this little dude here. To position. Scimitar? I don't care. I want to drop... Not Swarm, not Incendiary. I want to drop some Acid on him as well. Let's go. These missiles do quite a lot of damage. And... Talk to me. It's not him. Awaiting orders. It's not her. I want something else. I want, uh, I think it's rain. Ready for orders. Nope. Not rain. Ah, uh, what's rain gonna do? Rain, rain is gonna go Understood. over here. Moving fast. And he'll shoot Apollo at the scimitar. I want my king. It's dead eye on the king crab. Yeah, it's dead eye. So, buddy. Buddy, move in. I have line of sight. Have a good hit chance. We don't have a good hit chance. Oh, we can also not sensor lock. Oh, that's the problem. Yeah, got it. Anyway, if we hit, I want to see how much damage we can deal with the single rotary auto cannon five. Let's take a look. 
71 damage coming out of the auto cannon 10. That was actually quite underwhelming in terms of acid debuff. I've got your back. I was expecting way more than that. But anyway, we're here. We're ready. We're gonna just shoot him. Fire! Firing. That's an engine crit. That's one less hostile. I think we got a full atlas there. <laughs> Holy crap. Aye, aye. Yo, let's move in. Okay, there is that. I don't know why we are still carrying that UAV with us. That thing has never seen the light of day. There was always in its little compartment in the mech and, and I don't know, whistling and, and having a good time and reading comic books and not doing anything. All right. So, now we see what else we have. It's an Aswang, it's a, what is that? Gallant? Gallant. And then some, th some things on the right side. I also see a Raven. And I also see a an Ontos a tank here with a bunch of medium poles and LRM Artemis and stuff like that. Ready to get it on. But you know what? Just gonna give him hell. Ish. Whatever you say, I like the clustering on that. The Apollo ammo is so good when it comes to quote unquote pinpoint damage. Every every missile or all of the missiles will try to cluster to the same component. We'll try. Not really get it, because we also splashed a bit. But most of them Location went to the left confirmed. leg. And as a result, he is now on the ground. Oh, there's a Zeus up there. That's cool. How can I help? That is actually very cool. Problem is that Poet and the Vulture. What are your orders, Skipper? They are they are kind of blocking. I will actually Roger, go back and fire indirectly. It feels so weird, but it's kind of the best thing that we can do right now. Uh, what's he running? A snub heavy Gauss rifle? Are you kidding me? I need that. What is it? Give it to me. Also, a slazer. <laughs> what? Oh my god. A snub heavy Gauss? That sounds cool, man. That sounds cool as hell. Okay, it's EMP. Let's go. So I tried to overheat the Raven so he might just blow up or anything. It's really hard to hit that Raptor because he's stealth. So we're gonna shoot indirectly. Oh no, wait, she isn't blocking. Okay. I thought she would be. Sprinting. Yo, lagging. What is a Slazer? What is a Snub Heavy Gauss? Seriously. I've never seen that thing before. I don't know what weapons it brings. And I want them. I definitely want them. Alright, so. Yes, Commander. Pirate Artemis. No, it is. Enhanced imaging. We can turn it on at any point. No problem. Uh, oh, since we yeah. only have indirect firing lines. Uh, line of fire here. I'm looking for things that I can hit. Maybe just... Yeah, the gallant is hittable. It's fine for me. Fire. I'll take that shot. I mean, we have to deal the damage over time anyway. Sure. What is that? Oh, this is kind of our, our weird avatar here. But let's go. We have a pretty good line of sight on this dude. Okay. Um, I'm gonna warlord that. Let's do it. I'm mildly out of sight of, uh, right of, line of sight bit further and this is our our bloodhound probe that is helping us so much here uh, interesting we have line of sight to this laser dude there okay sensor lock now would be helpful let's shoot the ontos problem here <laughs> obviously is that we are uh, we are in a pretty, pretty hot environment. So, let's do a stand and shoot scenario here. Yeah, I like that. I was really hoping for our plasma to hit because fire damage deals additional damage to tanks. So it's like translating directly to regular damage. Since tanks cannot overheat, they are taking the damage directly. That's cool. 
So a plasma cannon deals actually pretty good damage in general. Ready for orders. Yeah, Strider. Let's go ahead and stride in. Understood. Moving fast. And we can shoot him, and we're gonna shoot the shotgun after the lasers, obviously, so... We might be opening him up and then follow up with some nice clusters of critical damage. Turn 30. Holy macaroni. This guy is fast. This is the highest turn order that he could get. Here come the ATMs. Didn't shoot anything else, though. This is the time... This is really the moment where we are starting overheating this dude. And then trying to headshot him somehow. Snub heavy, gals. Yo, our Atlas is always cannon fodder on the front line. I am honestly not sure. No, I'm pretty sure that we need more defense on him. We need it. We just need it. Speaking of, we also need heat. We need heat on him. We need heat on the Zeus there. And also deal some damage to the tank. Okay, buddy, it would be much appreciated if you just shut down, but don't blow up. Commander. All right, that's doable. Is this improved? It is improved. It is also Warlord. I want to try to kill this tank now. Let's see. No, no, wait. I wanted to say close, but there's the crew compartment. Perfect. Now, let's move over here, because Moving this is going to be a big target for us. Waiting for orders. Yeah, Deadeye is going to wait. I want Geezer first. Or got your back. Punisher or whatever. Okay, so can we drop the tank? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Try to destroy the tank first, and then we go for something else. LRMs are out. Great. Standing by. Uh, yeah, adrenaline. Sure, move in. Try to hit the tank as well. Our hit chance is not as good as I thought it'd be. I think it's range mostly. No, we have no visuals. That's interesting. Okay. We should have, because we have that big probe. Okay. No visuals. Fine. So, sensor scramble. I'm out of SRM. Got some acid on him. It's very low on armor. Skipper. And that means we're gonna shoot this dude now. Once more. And this is... Oh yeah, this is Inferno. This is Inferno and EMP, but I also want to shoot a little bit of regular ammo. Guided even. Sure. So that we can deal some regular damage, ideally. And the Inferno again for just a bit of tank damage, as well as a bit more damage against the Zeus there, when it comes to Inferno damage, you know? I'm rolling. So... Orders? Strider, are you ready? You are not even close. What? Okay. Turn that off. We're gonna make a jump with you. I copy. Hi. Shoot that guy once more, because it's the only thing that makes sense here. And then we have Deadeye. Okay, so this round we are not destroying the Zeus, but we are trying to destroy this Yaland here somehow. This radical heatsink kit is really cool, so we are getting up on heat and then we are getting low, and then we are getting up on heat and then we are getting low again, so it's a nice, nice sign curve. Cool, vehicle destroyed. Good. So, next round. This Zeus is gonna start up. Shut down, I don't know. Ah, he didn't shut down. He has an emergency coolant system. He's still hot, though. Yeah. Alright, that's good. Coordinates received. We got visuals here. Alright, let's do it like that. By the way, our MML is completely useless. It is only shooting a little bit of heat damage around with the incendiary missiles. I was thinking about using that thing as additional close range damage as well, but we are not ever getting in close range with that king crab because it's just too slow. We should really, 
replace that thing with something else. What's up, boss? But anyway, on the move. We have incendiaries here, correct? This might be a little bit too much. But I want to see. Ooh, Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Why does he get a head hit? Was it a regular head hit? It was an actual head hit. Okay, cool. Commander. Uh, I was thinking about maybe he was running some kind of crazy DNI thing, and that would have resulted in overheat k k damage on the pilot. But um, and if so, then obviously we would have just shot tiny instances of damage that triggered that once, over and over again. Mm-hmm. Ready for orders. Uh, sure. This is our avatar. Ta-da! Yeah, we got a hit chance. Oh, we got only incendiary and swarm. <laughs> Alright, let's shoot the, the swarm missiles afterwards and leave the chaff at home. Give me the crits. We didn't get it. We Oh, we did destroy a UAV. Okay. Ready to run. Nice. Improved here. Dead fire as well. Up, up, up. Bam, he's dead. So that's the raven down. Dudes, what is that snub nose heavy gauze? That seems like a very interesting item. Waiting for orders. Oh, Strider. You know, good job. And I want to check something. No additional chance. No, no additional hit. Confirmed. Can we somehow knock him down? I don't think so. We're gonna not do anything here. Uh, he's improved to confident. He's also at turn 20 now because of his pilot injury. Give him a chance to actually shut down now. Waiting for my opening. And he did! Alright, 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 alright. I need Giza or Deadeye. Both of them are really good for getting these shots to the face. Uh, there's Giza. Okay. 21%. Standard ammo, standard ammo. Standard ammo. Wait, do we have guided? We have guided. We have guided. So we're gonna go with that. Don't destroy him, please. We did not get a hit chance. Uh, or uh, Oh, wait, we did get it. What? Ammo explosion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. Alright. Uh, here's one thing that I can do. Um, give me... Just too much. That's too much. That's too... Is it? It's not. It's fine. So... Oh, wait, it is. Ah, that's three damage each. No, I'm not gonna shoot him. Not here. Standing by. That's better. Affirmative. So he's about to get knocked over. That's what I want. That's a pretty good hit chance on the head. So, there's the knockdown. This is exactly what I wanted here. It's another pilot injury. He's down to one health. See, we don't need to breach the cockpit. We only need to shake him once more. Okay. That is so much damage. Can I still reserve that? No, now I have moved, right? No, I can still reserve that. Uh, give me, oh yeah, give me dead eye. Uh, radical heat sink kit. Yeah, fine. Eighteen percent is not the best. Shooting once. Shooting plasma here. Oh, plasma deals a good chunk of damage, even. Pilot lethal damage, but that was a side towards the destruction. All right. Mission Let's see what's left over. I tried. I tried. It's nothing bad. I mean, we won the mission. It's not. It's not like I. It's not ending how I wanted it to be. So there's that. Anyway, here we go. We get six hundred thousand C bills. We get good experience ish, and there is the full atlas. Yeah. There's the Zeus X. Also, one, two, three, four, five. It's five parts! Never mind. Now, where's that heavy gauss? Also, where is the Slazer? 
The SS Laser. Okay, let's check it out. It is a 7 ton 2 slot weapon with 660 meters range, 40 damage, also 2 heat damage, as well as 6.6 uh, stability damage. I can see where you're going with that. And uh, 27 heat buildup, which is pretty much. Now, it also says Streak Launcher makes 1 to hit roll, only fires if the roll succeeds. Evasion pips ignored, accuracy. Wow. Damage variation of 10. Negative 2 efficiency of heat sinks. What does that mean? Okay, let's see the, the flavor text. Boss, I'm speechless. I have no idea how it works and the rat nest of wires and mismatched circuits inside is absolutely horrifying. But this is basically a street laser. It fires constant low power spotting beam that has sensors to analyze reflections. You can hold down the trigger, but it will only discharge when, the, when pointed at something with armor plating. Interesting. So if, if, it, if it would miss, it doesn't fire. Which is a great, great heat saver. Alright. But now, where's my snub nose heavy gauss rifle? 15 slots, 200 damage. Yeah, right? Uh, what? Damage fall off of 40%, recoil of 4, damage vari variation of 20. Heavy gauss, minus heavy projectile at hypersonic velocity. This snub nose gauss rifle basically just is a broken railgun barrel cut short and welded to a heavy gauss system. There's nothing properly snub nose about this. That's 200 freaking damage! That's 200! Pinpoint! It's super short range, but who cares? I care. Because it's really hard to bring that into a fight. Holy crap! Okay. What do we take? Double XL, guys! Double freaking XL! I think I'll take that and the snub nose. Yeah, most likely. Okay. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, there's Rack, there's Rack 5 in Ciendiary. I also wanted to test it around with that, now that we have a regular Rack 5 build. Um, but... Yeah, it's gonna be the Snub Nose Heavy Gals. I don't know if that's any good, but it's freaking 200 damage. How much talent is it? 15? It's good. Yeah. That is absolutely okay. We get another Rack 5. Holy crap, I didn't realize that there was a 400 rated fusion core and I got it anyway. I got so lucky here. Oh my god! Guys! Did you see that? Leave a comment in the chat right in, in, in the description right now. Did you see that there was a 400 rated core? I had no clue, guys. And I'm so happy that we got it. Wow, what a day. What good salvage. Hell yeah, guys. That has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating twice. Click the bell icon when you subscribe because that's when you get the notifications. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.